Hey, shout out to Greenback New Jersey who sent me this. And I'm laughing not about the video because the video was embarrassing, but it was uh, the title to the email said, if it's more than three, you can forget me. Well, it's definitely more than three. Let's go ahead and get a quick view of the video. Fair use. Looks like we're having a little event. Understand? In the wonderful world of Pakistan. Now, both incidents happened as police tried to manage oh, yes. this mayhem near Millennium Park. You can see several young people crowded onto the sidewalk and climbing up onto things. A fight even breaks out in the middle of the crowd. Police can be seen here taking at least one person into custody. Our cameras also captured more young people being taken into custody as things continued to get out of hand. Now, both incidents happened as police tried to manage this mayhem near Millennium Park. You can see several young See, what's going on? They're just hanging out. Then a fight breaks out. Why? This many, if I had a child or anybody in my family, it would be time to go. Because unfortunately, this is kind of what's expected. No joke. That's where the saying comes from. If there's more than three, child, you don't want to be. And this here is embarrassing on all levels. Because believe it or not, they're setting the tone of how we react. Our young people are reacting and behaving when they all get together. This what goes down. When the little chocolate drops are around, why are we fighting? It's a crowd of people. Someone's going to bump into each other. Really? I guarantee you, and I hate to say this, you can take these same individuals and put them into an entirely all Caucasian environment, put them where it's just all a whole group of other people and let them bump into them. I guarantee you, you're not going to have no fighting. There won't be any boxing up. No, 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 no. They won't do it. Because they already know or it might be a consequence. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on moving. But when they get with each other. Oh, it's on. You look at me wrong, it might be a fight. You look at me wrong, it might be a shoot-in. Why is that? The self-hatred? Yeah. Self-hatred. And they're not being raised properly. So if you don't love you, the skin that you're in, what makes you think you're going to love somebody that doesn't look like you? And we're used to drama and dysfunction. Some of us, the drama and dysfunction, Lord, can't live without it. I remember I worked with a person a long time ago, and it was like, whenever it was peaceful and quiet and tranquil, and everybody was getting along, at least being respectful. And you know, you're going to have drama, little, little things. This person said this here. Oh, shit, this about my outfit. Looking at my boyfriend or my man or my girlfriend. Oh, I heard this. So that's going to happen. You know, Patty. But I remember. So it was an event and, you know, some of the ladies weren't quite getting along on the job. And it was just, you know, a trivial matter. Somebody said this and somebody said something back and they don't like each other. And here we go, you know. Then everything quelled out. And it was interesting. It was the older lady, 20 years older, supposed to set the example. You know what she said? Hmm. Now everything seemed kind of strange. Everybody at the, at everybody at their desk. It's real quiet up in here. Ain't nobody talking, saying nothing. Afraid they're gonna offend somebody. Mm. Everybody real quiet. Ain't nothing going on. Uh, work is going on in a peaceful, drama-free environment. Why would she say that? Because she liked the drama that was going on. She liked that mess. Mm-hmm. She liked that look. I think that was giving, what they say, giving me life. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, 
And it's the same thing with college students. You know, I've seen them at wars again. And especially for white people, they may like turn the cars over, do crazy stuff. And you say, oh, well, they do it. Oh, well, they do it. Yep, they sure do do it. And you know what else they do? Oh, they, they, they have business and they can hire their own people and take care of their own people and get a second chance. That's something that we don't do it. We don't do it. Yeah. That's just like somebody who may act up, man, go in the store and go steal something, $10,000. Oh, well, that's so-and-so. You know, let's say the person is related to somebody like Bezos or Jamie Demon. I'm sorry, Jamie Dimon. Jamie Dimon, I'm only joking. I said that, listened to Max Wexler uh, a long time ago, and it just kind of made me laugh, you know. So, um, yeah, well, that person related to Jamie Dimon, uh... He can pick up the phone and restitution just like that. And, and, and you know how society goes, especially when you have money. Privilege does exist. I feel bad for the teacher who told the truth and got fired from those little narrow-minded people in that little town. Oh, you can't get the truth. Stop all the lies. Privilege does exist. It does indeed exist. And especially when you have money. Mm-hmm. It, it exists. So you already know what well, that person knows in relation to Jamie Diamond. I like do an apology, you know, make a payment, or maybe just give it back and all will be in most cases forgotten. So you know you're not it's not equality. So yes, yeah, so a lot of people well they do it, yep, and they can put in a suit and tie tomorrow and just say, Oh, you know what? I was just acting out and it's understood. Well sure, Peter, sure, Becky, come on in, you get a job. You don't have it like that. Why? You don't have the infrastructure. A lot of our people do things that may get fired, things that may post on social media. Other folks can do the very same thing, yes, but they have built businesses. They, 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 they've built, they have our infrastructure, they have resources. You don't. So that's why a lot of times when our folks get into trouble, they have these felonies. Oh, they can't get a job. They can't get a job. Man, I've seen it. We can be the brother from another mother, be a murderer. They got a job. They gave him a chance. One guy, they got, got out of prison. The boss man trusted him so, gave him a key and everything. Yo, he's killing the neighbor next door. Couldn't believe it. They trusted him. Like, yeah, trust him with everything. And he killed a couple next door and robbed them of $5,000. Hit the bodies in the attic. Mm -hmm. He was out of prison and got a job. This right here, who, first of all, who's building for this right here? Who? You can. Because some of these in the crowd, you got some dusty and dusty. And you probably got some good kids want to go out. Understood. Understandable. But who building for this right here? And you know in the BC... That's what we'll do. We'll either boycott you so you go out of business or want to discount so you can go bankrupt and go out of business or rob and steal from you, lose money, go out of business, or we just might kill you. That's what happens in the beast when you try to build. Too many reports on it. So who is building for this right here? Nobody. Nobody. So this right, they don't seem to understand. They are setting the tone. Uh, well, I'm an individual. You're not seen as an individual. Seen as, you're seen as a chocolate drop. I'm an individual. When they had those signs on the door back in the day, they didn't say individual. Oh, Mary, Peter, Daquanda, Shaniqua. They had those signs on the door, and it meant one thing. Either you were that or you weren't. But you think you're an individual. And that's the problem with these young people and the parents. They see this as having fun, acting wild. All you're doing is just setting the narrative for the group. I hate to say it, that's what they're doing. Are we all like this? Hell no. But they are setting the narrative. And then one little blemish on the record, nobody wants to take a chance on you because they already see you wilding out. You might wild out, spaz out in the business. You just might. So this right here, this is the future. This is your future workforce right here. 
Well, I don't know about workforce because the way it's going, AI, this right here, more than likely the majority, they won't be able to handle AI. You have a few that can figure it out and, you know, get back to the, to the, to the new way of doing things. This right here. So, yeah, I hate to say it. This, this, this right here, I hate to say it's going to be the workforce that no one's wanting to invest in. Nobody's, nobody's wanting to invest in. Had a conversation real quick about, um, uh, it's been a minute, but about uh, the lady and I was talking about in Chicago. And it was like when people heard that she had kids from Chicago and one guy was like, oh, I won't take those kids on. You don't know. They might get mad and start cursing at you. Why? Every time look up on Chicago, bad news killing. They may not be those type of kids. For us, God of his mouth, I wouldn't take them on. They're from Chicago. Oh, those kids are probably not trained well. Why? Every time you look up, it's all, all killing. And then you're talking about a young black male to a teenager. Oh, terrified. Not not scared, but scared to death. Scared to death. Not going to take that on. Try to raise some money. Try to help him. No, no, no. I don't want to deal with it. He's probably a gangbanger. It doesn't mean the kid is. So the point is, our people really don't get it. And these young ones, you can't tell them nothing. No offense. Your mom and dad was born in poverty. This set a good example. You think you know anything? Poverty D, poverty P, equal a tragedy. This right here. What do you see the future of these young people being? What do you see the future? Is that the next CEO? The CFO? Is that how you're going to act in the boardroom? If you want to you want to vote differently than somebody else, you're going to start boxing up. So yeah. Our people Sometimes I find myself just have to just have to walk away. But all this here, what, what's going on? What's going on? I can tell you what's not going on. What's not going on? Love, respect, and this decent upbringing in the home. That is what's not going on. And I can assure you, the future of these young people, or the man say you better have a plan. Because if you don't have a plan, it's going to be manifest. The other guy has a plan. You don't have a plan. It's going to be manifest in your defeat. And the individuals here, just, I can understand self-defense. But the one that's just want to fight and jumping up and down the hot and screaming. I hate to say it. That little chocolate drop is already defeated. So parents, Dusty, Dustina. Only thing, give yourself a hand. Your child is already defeated. Poverty D, Miss Poverty P, your child is already defeated. And things are changing so where you may be able to scrape by. It's not going to be so easy. This behavior right here on the screen, these individuals being wiped out. Being totally wiped out. Anyway, thanks for listening. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. You have kids you already know. It's two men like that. Oh, I want to go. I want to go. Uh, sometimes is you best, you know, stay home, stay home, stay away from the drama. Let these idiots go on. Thanks for listening. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share them out. I'm going to get some few videos out today. Going to go out of town and maybe try to get some videos there as well. Again, people stay safe, but this right here on the screen, whose labor force is this? This person here, look at this. Why is she jumping up and down like that? so hyped up why is she jumping up and down like that it is embarrassing to say the least thank you